assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. to take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, hey, Kablamatons. I'm Henry, and this is June. Welcoming you to another artery-clogging episode of Kablam! <laughs> As you can see, some of the funniest moments on Kablam are the ones we don't plan. We call them Kabloopers. You'll just call them hilarious. So sit back as we present Kablam's Kabloopers, Flubs, and Miscues. Roll the ugliness. What's in a name? Plenty if you're Henry. Hi, I'm Harry. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm Henry. <laughs> can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> If you think forgetting your own name is moronic, check out this kaflub. <laughs> Finally, here's a backstage kablooper that we think redefines the term slack-jawed idiot. Hey, how come all the kabloopers are of me? <laughs> Is that right? I didn't notice. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? <laughs> yes, it was. Almost as funny as Action League. Whoa! I'm not gonna say it. Dateline, Action Headquarters. With a chief issues a high security alert. Listen up! I just got word that Hodgepodge had escaped from the asylum. He'll be coming after us like a mad dog on a motor scooter. Be on the lookout for anything suspicious. Look, everyone. Unmarked packages. Give me that. 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 League now starring the flesh he's super strong and super naked thunder girl she flies like thunder stinky diver a former navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor and melt man with the power to melt today's episode the revenge of hodgepodge we find our heroes facing a ghastly blast from the Past. Gollers, Hodgepodge, what do you have against us? You jerks ruined my life. Remember when I was the Action League accountant? It was tax time, but I was the one who paid the penalty. <laughs> of people moaning about how bad off they are. I say tough noogies. <laughs> On the other hand, that is a really sad story. Ah! Now listen, Hodge Podge, it, it, it was the other guy's fault. Besides, look at me, I'm already melting. Later that day at Big 
kitchen super secret laboratories, an important package arrives for an important lab guy. Daddy, look what I made in science class today. That's nice, dear. Now run along. But can I stay here and be a scientist like you? No, Quirky. It's too dangerous. And you are too young. Go and practice your ballet. All right. But I hate ballet. Uh, a little help? Bill the lab guy, you've got to reassemble it. I feel like Humpty Dumpty at the end of that story about Humpty Dumpty. Chief, there's nothing I can do. That's what you told me! And look how nice I turned out! Hodgepodge, you were in a million pieces. There really was nothing I could do. Stop saying that, you hack! Now there is something you can do! You can beg for mercy! Oh no, help! Don't worry, you guys. I'll put you back together. I'll show my dad I'm a scientist after all. All right. Go, girl. Come on, Quirky. Save us. Yes, please. Um, mercy, mercy. Is Bill the lab guy a goner? Can his dist daughter rebuild the Action League in time? Stay tuned for the action Julie and the conclusion of Action League now. I can tell. And so can our audience, thanks to those cartoon anger fumes. I'm not angry anymore. Now I have an idea. Of course you do, June. That light bulb is another way cartoons tell the world what's on their mind. So, June, what's on your mind? Two words. Thought balloon. As you can see, June isn't much of a heavy thinker. Oh, and you are? That's right. Behold. Ah, the ever-popular Birds of Pain. I just got another idea. Let's watch Prometheus and Bob. Birds of Pain? What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 49, milking. Turn. 
more Action League now. Right here on Kablam! Spider and fly. Spider and fly. Spider and fly. League dice, a lab guy, Sly. Yeah. Back to our story. Hotspot, wait. Think of what you're doing. I am, and I'm loving it. Not so fast, Hodgepodge. Huh? Oh my gosh! Look at me. I'm a freak. I am looking at you. What a vision of beauty you are. Ah, uh, yeah. A uh, bill. Can we talk about your daughter, Dr. Frank and Corky? My soul, May! My destiny! Ah, Together ow. we will mend the pieces of our broken hearts! Back off, you hunk of junk! Ah! Hodgepate, anyone? Daddy, I did it! I'm just like you! I'm Quirky, the lab girl. Quirky, I was wrong. Thank you for teaching me something about being a parent. Now, where's the rest of the Action League? You may know the other parts. I tossed them out. Like you always say, a clean lab is a mean lab. That's my little scientist. Quirky? Quirky! Quirky! Henry, what do you call a cross between an arch villain and a truck that's ram tough? What? A hodgepodge dodge! <laughs> June, are you through wasting our time? Do you have any idea how much animation costs per second? I'm sorry, Henry. You're right. But let me ask you something. What do you call a cross between a boll weevil and a Patriot missile? June, which part of No More Jokes don't you understand? It's not a joke, Henry. It's right behind you. 
I was just curious about what you'd call it. Hi, I'm Larry. Hear that? That's the sound of my sister Loopy not driving me crazy. But if you think my life's always this peaceful, you should have been here last Tuesday night when I was trying to get ready for my stupid school field trip. Larry, Larry, I'm a Viking cheerleader from Venus. B-I-K-I-N-G. Lame brain Larry can't catch me. Loopy, you're going to lose your voice if you're not careful. Well, Loopy should have listened to what Mom had to say, because the next morning, her voice was gone. Lost your voice, eh, shrimp? Well, why don't you go look for it? <laughs> now, most people wouldn't have taken that kind of advice too seriously, but Loopy's not most people. Hello, little lady. Welcome to the Lost and Found. What can we do for you? Oh, lost your voice, have you? You've come to the right place. Can you give me a description? Oh, right. If you could do that, you wouldn't be here, would you? Tell you what, we'll lend you a new voice until we find your old one. Try this on for size. Me on Evid, me on Shaga, cars many hoza mama. The voice I'm looking for is chattering chipmunks. This isn't talking, it's squeaking. Don't get your tonsils in a tizzy. How about this one? Ooh, baby. Now I'm talking the language of love. Very soulful. It grooves. Okay, now, let's have that description of the voice you lost. Well, it's bad and beautiful and looking for love. See, I ain't been treating my baby right. Sounds like that voice we had in here this morning. Well, lay it on me. Uh, we gave it away to an opera singer. My voice is singing opera? You'd better hurry if you want it back. The opera's leaving town after today's show. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was wishing the opera had left town yesterday. Cause there I was, front row center at the field trip flop of the century. Then, all of a sudden, Loopy? Hey, sweet thing, give me my voice back. Scram, Loopy, I found someone to take better care of me. Please come back, baby. Loopy misses you so bad. I'm going to give you a TLC from now till eternity. You promise? Cross my heart, baby. <laughs> Seems like you two want to be alone. So why don't I split this scene? Ooh, come on, baby, now. Do that funky thing. Lay that off wrong. The groove just makes me sing. So thanks to Loopy, I gained a new respect for the opera. And Loopy gained a new respect for her voice. I just hope this peace and quiet can last forever. Boy, that life with Loopy was... <laughs> you sounded just like me. Holy, 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 holy,
Je m'appelle Gordon Bleu. Inspiration. Oh, regardez le fly. Inspiration. Beaucoup de fly. Pas lui. On est bien. Maladie. Bangi, 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 fly. Et parfait, l'accoutrement, le fly. Regardez. 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 Soit c'est un. Soit c'est un. Soit c'est un. Regardez-moi. Au revoir, fly. Hasta la vista, buzzy buzzy, eh? Le mouche, eh? Regardez! Regardez, buzzy buzzy buzzy, eh? Hasta la vista, buzzy buzzy! Hasta la vista, buzzy 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 buzzy buzzy! Hasta la vista,
Wait a second. August isn't cool at all. He's just wearing some kind of weird doohickey. Once a dork, always a dork. <laughs> August, you're back. I blew it. The populars hate me even more than ever. I am a dork. We still like you, even if you are a dork. Really? Yeah. Do you still like me too, September? Sure, but I'm paid. You guys are the best. Well, that wraps up another room-clearing episode of Kablam! Yes, it sure was tasty. Just like Harold's glow-in-the-dark butter. Why are you talking about butter? It's not just butter, Henry. It's Harold's glow-in-the-dark butter. The glow is how you know it's Harold's. What? I'm Harold's official spokesperson. I beat out Wesley Snipes. June, I'm surprised at you. As hosts of Kablam, we have a responsibility to... Hey! Oh, no. The lights went out. Luckily, we have Harold's glow-in-the-dark butter to guide us. It just tastes better when it glows. June! Henry, you're melting the product. All right. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do that again. Thank you. See you next time, Kablammers. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network.